going everybody? It's Friday. <laughs> Get some time off. I wanted to do my Friday update video for you guys. And let you know where I was at. It's early. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning. I've already been out in the garage for a little bit just because I've, I've got to actually take off and go pick up a set of trailing arms from a buddy of mine, Pete. Uh, he's kindly donating them to the 34 Project because of obviously the issues that I had with the rear suspension. He says he had some parts for me and uh, I think they're going to work out pretty good. So, show you guys where I'm at. I started pulling some of the parts down off of my little rack. I got all the turquoise parts off. And I got some of the turqu uh, the uh, white parts on here. This is just epoxy. I could probably leave this to be totally honest with you, but I had planned on putting it all in paint, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Now this is the pan hard bar. This is an uh, emergency brake bracket. <clears throat> One half of the battery hold down, the other half is here. Firewall, uh, the mounts for the, uh, the radio support rods. Obviously this is the master cylinder and the pitman arm uh, you can see the inside of the car I'm leaving it shiny I already mounted the gas tank filler and I got the little bracket here on for the trunk hold down I just set this on here for now uh, I'm gonna crawl in afterwards and throw my deck lid hinges on and then I'll be able to pop my deck lid back on so that'll be good so that's the way this is gonna stay it's going to stay the shiny turquoise. I'm not going to touch the paint. Uh, most of it will be hidden, you know, obviously underneath all the floor panels and whatnot. But uh, I think from underneath it'll look nice with everything being nice and shiny, with the outside obviously being a little more weathered looking. So I just got the car covered up just because I'm doing some painting in the shop. See the frame rails here? Kind of looking old. I am going to. I'm going to do that treatment to the shock mounts. Basically anything that's kind of visible from the outside of the car, I want it to look kind of like it's all the same age. I'm going to pull the dashboard out probably later on today, get that painted. That's going to be turquoise, I believe. Uh, maybe white, I'm not sure. Maybe, you know what, I might do it white. Seeing how I'll have white in the gun and that thing's already in epoxy. So, so yeah, just a quick walk around the shop, quick update. Like I said, it's Friday morning. And I'm taking off. I'm heading up to my buddy Pete's place. Uh, it's about an hour away. So I thought I'd do a quick little update. And uh, I'll catch you guys when I get back. I'm going to get right back into the paint. And get the finished paint on a lot of these parts. have my wishbones down here on the ground. I'm going to get these cleaned up with the SCT. I'm not going to go crazy crazy with them. Pretty crappy day out there today. Things are in bloom which is nice. But unfortunately it's a rainy crappy day. That's just the way it goes sometimes. You gotta make the best of it. So, see you guys soon. Everybody, it's Saturday afternoon. Allie and I kind of spent the day hanging out, and she took off to do a few things with some friends. And <clears throat> I decided to take a walk out to the garage. So what I've been doing is sandblasting parts uh, the past couple of days after work, and I have the coil spring mount where they mount onto the top of the rear axle. That's the part that attaches to the top of the rear axle like that. This little tab right here is where the spring locks into. And then you put a U-bolt down over this, the plate, which the plate was the trailing arms. So I'll have to just fabricate a quick little plate so I can use those. The springs right here. So I'm gonna get these sandblasted. We get those aluminum cups sandblasted. Uh, I have the drag link and all the front brake parts, uh, front spring, perch, the perches, the shackles. I uh, got to get all that stuff sandblasted and get it in epoxy and then paint. Um, yeah, just 
kind of tired today, so, but picking away, which like I had said in my last, one of my last videos, you got to just keep moving on these cars, you can't, you really can't stop, it's hard to, it's hard to stop and then stay motivated. You're going to stay busy on these cars and just keep making progress. Um, I don't remember if I showed it on my last video or not, but I picked up a set of old chrome. It's a little crushed, crunchy on that side, but I picked up some old chrome trailing arms. These were on an old dragster from the 60s up here in New England. It had an entire chrome undercarriage chassis, the whole deal. Uh, it was since taken apart at one, at one point in time. Uh, those are a little longer than the trailing arms that were on the coupe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to triangulate those. I'm going to put them just on the inside of the frame rail on the rear axle and then bring them in to triangulate them so the rear axle will have a little bit more movement and be able to move and pivot unlike it was it was not able to prior. That was why the trailing arms broke, as you guys know. So... Uh, but what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to reinstall the rear axle exactly where it was. I'll have the drive shaft, everything hooked up. At that point, what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to figure out exactly where everything needs to be, is where it was, where the car, how it was driven before. And then I will then install those triangulated brackets. Uh, I'll mount my, I got some quarter inch plate. I'll cut that out. I'll get that welded onto the axle tubes, and then I'll make a cross member with a, with some tabs, a couple of tabs for the front, and then I'll get those installed. And at that point, I'll be able to remove the original two link, the suspension, the trailing arms, and then the car should be basically all set as far as you know the ride height and whatnot. So it's kind of the plan. Um, so hopefully it'll work out as good as I, I have it planned. You just don't know until you get into it, you know? Uh, so what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to keep moving forwards with sandblasting and getting things cleaned up and ready for paint. Like I said, I'm going to work on uh, the front spring, the perches, shackles. Uh, I haven't pulled the brakes apart yet, so I'm going to do those kind of one at a time. I'll pull one completely complete assembly apart. I'll get everything done on one, and then I'll do the other one. I don't want to get things, you know, screwed up and mixed up. So, uh, but I have all the other parts that were sprayed and painted. Those are all put away. So when it's time to put the car back together, they'll be ready to go. Um, and after I get all these, like these heavier, you know, hardware parts done, I'll get to work on the floors. Um, I'm thinking about painting them white. Still kind of on the fence a little, but I'm thinking about doing them white. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do them turquoise. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Uh, but after that, I need to get to work on my dash. So this is a, a 34 standard dashboard. It's standard because it doesn't have an ashtray. Uh, I do have a couple of glove box doors. And then on a 33, this gauge cluster is removable, but on a 34, it's not. It's, it's stamped as part of the dash. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm not actually going to have to cut this out and then build a new panel. So I'm going to try to do a tack, a speedo, and then I'm going to figure out where my other gauges are going to go. I may just do tack, speedo, and then do three or four gauges over here. And then maybe a small pot, or maybe a small pot underneath. I'm not sure yet. I did want to run a couple gauges on the firewall. I wanted to run a fuel pressure and a vacuum gauge on the firewall. I thought that would look pretty good. Kind of still go with the era that I'm building the car in. So I could do that now, seeing how the firewall is done. But I'm going to uh, it's going to hold off for the moment until I can get the dash figured out and figure out what gauges I'll end up putting in the dash. And that will determine what gauges I'll have left over to put in the firewall or like I had said to make some type of a pod that goes underneath here or buy one so but this is uh, another project that I need to get to work on 
So I'm just picking away one thing at a time. Lord knows there's plenty of things to do. Just set this up here for now. Just to keep it out of the way so it doesn't get lost. And the same as my hardware. So let's get to sandblasting. So I'm in the basement of my garage. The car is right above me. It's kind of a mess down here. It's kind of a catch-all. This is my little sandblaster here. It's like a 36 inch sandblast cabinet, something like that, maybe smaller. Uh, but I have my springs in there and I just threw those little spring cups in there and get the show on the road and get these things cleaned up. Get these lights that I keep up here because the light that's in there just never really worked all that well. Go upstairs and grab a few more parts. Keep the train moving. All right, I got the springs hung up on my little clothes rack and I just pulled apart the front spring. I'm gonna bring this down and just do it leaf by leaf. They're obviously rusty from being old. I'll get these cleaned up. And then what I'll do is I'll come up top and pull apart the main leaf, pull the shackles and the perches off. Pretty sure those perches are still good. These are the ones that were on the car. Um, I believe they're Ford or they're old, old aftermarket. The bushings are pretty well shot so I'll order a new set of bushings or new shackles. I think I got some old chrome shackles maybe kicking around. I'll have to look. I think I do. Uh, but I'll get these cleaned up and I'll get these painted as well. And then also the main leaf. I'll get that cleaned up. And like I said, just keep picking away. I'm making progress, but there's still just a, a, a never ending list. I gotta make spacers. For the front wishbones where they attach to the front axle the wishbones are two and a quarter inches they have a two and a quarter inch boss and the axle is a two inch boss so I need to make a quarter inch spacer so I'll use my hole saw I got some quarter inch plate I'll just drill out some some round discs and then I'll drill the center of them out to the thickness of my to the thickness of my perches and I'll get those put together when the time comes so yeah just keep picking away
everyone, it's Mike with this old hot rod. Uh, it's Thursday afternoon after work. I've had a real busy week and I haven't got a lot done. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday I worked just longer days. I worked by myself so I was, just had to put in some longer days. I'm working on a, a really big custom home right now painting it and uh, trying to get it done before the end of the week so I have to put in the time to do it. So that being said, I haven't had a lot of progress in the garage the past few nights but what i did get done is you can see hanging up on my little rack here i got my springs sandblasted um this is just a few of the lee spring pieces these are the top pieces uh you see it you saw a few seconds ago in the video that i was working with the sct to clean up the majority of the rust and just the build up on the, the larger portion of the front spring those are all cleaned up those are ready for epoxy um you saw the pieces in the sandblaster excuse me um but so that being said i'm really hoping i have an early day tomorrow that was kind of my plan was to put in some longer days at the beginning of the week so i could get some work done in the garage Friday afternoon and then maybe into Saturday. I was planning on, on taking off and going up to New Hampshire on Sunday uh, for a swap meet up at New England Dragway and I was hoping to maybe meet some of some of you guys in person. It looks like Sunday is going to be a complete washout so I don't know as if I'm going to end up driving up tomorrow. Uh, it's a couple hours away so it's a bit of a drive but in any event uh, if I don't end up going up, I'm going to try to spend some additional time in the garage on Sunday and get some things in paint. Uh, I like to have all these pieces in, in epoxy and paint. Uh, the dashboard, I'm not going to paint the dashboard yet because I'm going to have to cut some holes in it for some gauges. So that'll need some work. Uh, but I have plenty of stuff I can do. I have front suspension. I have the steering column. Steering column's in primer. Uh, so what all I'm doing with that is just just giving it a quick wipe down, a scuff, get that in epoxy and get that in paint. Uh, yeah, it's still just a lot of a lot of little things here and there. Um, I want to get all the little things taken care of before I roll out the rear axle and then disassemble the rear axle. I'd like to have the front brakes and everything rebuilt and done uh, so I can do those right on my welding table. But the rear axle will be able to pull apart. And uh, like I had said earlier in the video, I want to be able to get that back up underneath the car. Uh, the front, the front uh, axle is at Andy Kohler's shop. He's down in Pennsylvania. He had said he was going to rebend or readjust the axle to get the camber straightened out because there's a camber issue. So I'm waiting on the front axle from Andy. I'm hoping it's something they'll be able to get to pretty quick. So I'll be able to hopefully get the rear axle situated. And then by the time I get that done, I'd love to be able to get the front axle, get that thing put together. Uh, I'm hoping to, I got to pick up a set of, I'm trying to find an NOS set of older, older, obviously. I'm trying to find an NOS set of kingpins. Uh, all I have found is the new stuff. And I'll run the new stuff if I have to, but I'd really like to find a, a, a nice old set, a new old stock set, if I could find some. So... I'm still in the process of that, uh, but as soon as, like I said, excuse me again, as soon as I can get the front axle back from Andy, I'll get that put back under the car, get the front brakes. Uh, but as soon as, like I said, excuse me again, as soon as I can get the front axle back from Andy, I'll get that put back under the car, get the front brakes, everything situated, be able to then start running brake lines, uh, getting that all taken care of and those pieces put back together and then uh try to make this car a roller again you know so try to be able to get this thing rolled back outside so i can kind of see what it's going to look like I'm trying to get to a point where i can get a lot of the major components put back on the car i still have to get the all the floor pans and epoxy love to be able to get that maybe taken care of this weekend but again it's been a lot of this little stuff time consuming stuff sandblasting and whatnot I don't have a huge sandblast cabinet. It does the trick, but it takes a little while. So but it's better than having nothing. So you guys can kind of see what pieces are gonna be what color. This is all just in my head. This is a vision. I know this car didn't have 
color on the inside of it. It was all black from what I could tell, unless that was something Brad did, but I don't think it was. It looked like, it looked like the car was just black inside, uh, whether it was primer or whatever. So I'm trying to just kind of finish off a few things and it's, it's the vision I have of the car, maybe what it once could have been back in the day being a, you know, I want to try to give it that old show car look and uh, still, still toying with my Izzy. You're, you're getting caught up in the plastic here, honey. I'm still toying, going back and forth with the motor color. Uh, I'm really not too sure. I'm, I'm thinking either white or gold. Um, we'll see. I, I still have some time before I do that. I still have to drop the radiator off. I planned on dropping that off last week, but just work has, has gotten in the way. Um, as you guys all know, it's just these cars take a long time and, and the process is a long process and you can't always get everything done exactly when you want to, but that's just part of the adventure and part of the, uh, the learning experience and the, and the experience in whole. Again, I just want to give you guys a quick weekly wrap up this is my saturday morning wrap up on what i've got done not a ton of stuff this week but i am still in the garage and i'm still getting some things done i'm staying motivated and you guys have helped me do that you guys are keeping me on my toes making sure and it's, it's myself though it's not you guys forcing me it's me doing it to give you guys content because i want to show you guys that i'm still moving forwards on the car and i'm, and I'm trying to get the car done so i hit 5,000 subscribers that is a milestone for me. That was something that I, I through with me, I never thought I'd hit 5,000 subscribers. I never knew this whole YouTube thing was even going to take off. The fact that I just reached 5,000 subscribers and just a little bit above, I'm thrilled. Uh, I'm going to do coming up real soon, maybe next week will be on next weekend. Maybe I'll do a, a live video and we'll do a 5,000 subscriber giveaway. I'll see if I can just nail Allie down. She's been super busy. She's been just across state lines, it seems like, every weekend with her friends. And she's been doing stuff. And, uh, you know, works busy in her life and, and, as well as mine. So I'll see if I can pin her down next weekend. We could separate a little bit of time. Figure out what's going to work for us. I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you guys posted on when we're going to do a live update. And uh, we'll do a 5,000 subscriber giveaway. We'll figure out what we'll give away. Probably some t-shirts and stickers. Uh, just to keep it simple and fun. So thanks everybody. I appreciate all the support, all the emails, all the encouragement, all the awesome comments, and just, just everything. Just I really appreciate it. I'm very humbled by everybody and by the support and the kind words. So thank you. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.